All right, let's go over the plan one more time. The recorder's on? Yes. Good. Are you nervous? <laughs> nervous? Oh, am I nervous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous. Everything is going to be fine. You've gotten the jump down perfectly. It will just be like all the other times you've gone to see Mark. Right. Seven out of nine. That's how many times I've gone back on purpose. That, that's pretty good, right? It's excellent. Okay, we still have about an hour until Damien is supposed to call. Are you sure about him? Well, it's a little late to call him off now. True, but I don't know. Aren't you worried he's going to mess everything up? Why would he? Damien doesn't cause trouble for the sake of trouble. At least not since I've known him. He behaves badly in order to make whatever selfish gains he needs to, or because he thinks it's what's expected of him. Which it is, I suppose, but it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation. Right. So he's not going to, I don't know, go in there and kill a bunch of guards for the fun of it? Lord, no. He knows that deviating from the plan could land him in the cell right next to Mark. Speaking of the plan... Right. Damien is going to enter here. There's only one guard at this gate, and then another at the entrance. He'll have to persuade a guard to give him their key card, and then from there he'll take the east stairway down to the sub-basement. Then it's just a matter of walking into the secure area and opening Mark's cell. Oh, sure. Easy peasy. The highest security levels are manned by guards, not protected by keypads or locks, which actually works better for us. Damien won't need any codes to get through. That... that really doesn't sound like very much security for something like the AM. It's easier to protect something when no one knows it exists. I guess. What were you expecting? I don't know. Lasers? A moat? Mutant dogs? You've made the AM sound pretty super villainy. Sorry to disillusion you, but it's a pretty basic government building. And you're sure they haven't updated their security system in two years? That seems unlikely. Bureaucracy moves very slowly, Sam. They just installed a brand new system before I left. There's no way they've gotten around to another update. Wait, won't Damien's power wear off the guards eventually? They'll come looking for him, right? Not if he's in and out in 15 minutes. We've been practicing, and his control is getting better. You've been helping him improve his ability? Only as much as we need. Jesus, Dr. Bright. <sighs> okay, so we have 15 minutes to make this work. Right. Which is why the moment Damien enters the sub-basement, you make the jump. You can spend as much time as you want in 1810 to prepare to pull Mark back, but once you do, you need to come to the same time you left. Or as close as you can get. We can't have Damien waiting around for Mark to wake up. I doubt Damien would be able to carry him, and I don't like the idea of him having custody over an unconscious Mark. Right. No. And then, then they come back here. Exactly. Mark will be in bad shape, I imagine. Bed sores are going to be the least of our troubles. He'll recuperate here. I really think a tiny motel room is the best place for him to recover? It's discreet and in the opposite direction from the city. They won't look for us here. But they will look for us, right? Yes. But they won't be able to approve either of our involvement. And you and Mark will be off on your road trip soon enough, so... It will blow over. They have bigger fish to fry, and they know they messed up with this one. I think they'll eventually let it go. <laughs> That's optimistic. I still don't like the idea of leaving you here alone for months. It's fine, Sam. I need to look after my other patients, and you need to go see the world. Or at least the country. And spend the mountains of money you apparently have. <laughs> it's amazing the money you can accrue when you don't spend any for ten years. Well, and get an inheritance, that helps too. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's landed himself an heiress after all. He'll be thrilled. Oh, we're not... I mean, nothing's happened. <laughs> I know. But I'm a psychologist, remember? I'm good at reading emotions. Right. This is sort of awkward. I feel like I, I should apologize. What for? If Mark feels the same way, then I'm happy for you both. Like I said, nothing's happened. I guess we'll see. He's probably waiting to make sure it's okay to make a move on his sister's patient first. Not that that's all you are, of course. Sam? You still haven't told him, have you? I'm going to tell him before we jump, I promise. That, that you've been the one behind all of this, that you're the one who deserves the credit. 
I, w- I was going to before, really. I, I was finally going to own up to it, even though I, I know he might be mad that I wasn't honest. And I started to tell him that I had a way to get him out, a plan, and he... He, he tried to give me a hug. And it, it didn't work a- at all, but the gesture was so nice, and it caught me so off guard, and I, I, I kind of just wanted to be his knight in shining armor for a little while longer. And he's never mentioned me? He has, but... Uh, they're mostly stories about you guys as kids. He hasn't really mentioned you as an adult yet. I see. He really doesn't like talking about the couple of years before he went away. I'm sorry, Dr. Bright. You know, Sam, if you're going to be dating my brother, you should probably call me Joan. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Joan. Okay, I, uh, I guess I should start setting up the feed, make sure everything's running okay. You gave Damien the earpiece? Yes, he was very impressed by my spy tech, as he called it. Don't worry, he doesn't know I have a computer genius on my team. He thinks I'm doing this entirely on my own. I wouldn't exactly call myself a computer genius. I spent a lot of time on them, that's all. As always, I think you're being too modest, Sam. You seem to really know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, a degree in informational sciences and a decade with a computer and a cat as sole companions will force anyone to pick up a few skills. Uh, And the tracker? On the van I purchased. He doesn't know. Good. It's a transmitter, too, just in case he takes out the earpiece. Wait, you bought a van? It's amazing what you can find on Craigslist. I figured it was better to have a getaway car that wasn't registered to anyone. Don't worry, you and Mark can take a different car cross-country. I'm picturing a red convertible. Mark has never been a subtle person. Oh my god, this is... this is completely crazy, right? I mean, spy tech, getaway cars, we're not the CIA, what are we doing? Speak for yourself, Sam. I worked for a secret government organization for years and then tried to breach their high security area. Okay, good point. I guess I'm the only fish out of water here, then. Not to be blunt, but do you ever feel like a fish in water? Uh, no. Also a solid point. (sighs) At least this is sort of... fun? I'm beginning to think you don't know what that word means. You might be right. At the very least, my brain feels like it's being fully used for the first time in a long time. A good mind is a terrible thing to waste, Sam. Okay, enough of the platitudes. You're making me more nervous. Okay, the feed is set up. We just have to wait for him to turn it on. Then we wait. That must be him. You want to do all the talking, I assume? Definitely. Damien knows nothing about you, and I'd prefer to keep it that way. Right. Uh, Okay, just press this button here, and he'll be able to hear us. It works like a one-way walkie-talkie. He can only hear you when you choose, but we can always hear him. Okay. Damien, right on time. Hey, Dr. B. How's your night going so far? No time for small talk, Damien. Are you at the facility? Pulling up to the gate now. Looks like there is one guard at the gatehouse. As expected. Are you ready for this? Why not? Good evening, sir. Name and ID number, please. I just wanted to pop inside and say hello to a friend of mine. Excuse me? I'll be quick, I promise. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you through. Much obliged. (sighs) Okay, it worked. He just has four more security points to get through, and then we'll be fine. Oh, God, four more? Two guards at the entrance, then he'll use a key card to open the locked stairway and the entrance to the sub-basement, and one more guard at the entrance into Tier 5. Good evening, gentlemen. Here we go. All right, I'm in the sub-basement now. I'm walking towards what I assume is Tier 5. You have the map I sent you? Yeah, I have the map. I'm not an idiot. Good. Okay, Sam. Are you ready to make the jump? What, now? He's got one more guard post to go through, and then he's in Mark's room. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Dr. Br- Joan, if something goes wrong and I don't come back... Sam, you're going to be fine. Yeah, but just... I've never tried to pull anything like this before. There are a lot of variables. So, if something goes wrong, will you take care of Darwin for me? Yes, of course. Now go. Okay, okay, yeah. Here goes nothing. Damien, where are you? I'm approaching the second hallway. Good. Remember, you take the left. Um, excuse me. Oh, God. Are you authorized?
surprised to be down here. Well, well. If it is an Asian green. Working late, are we? Don't you have anything better to do on a Saturday night? Damien. Fuck. The one and only. What the hell are you doing here? How did you get in? How do you think? This is quite unusual, Damien. I'm going to have to call security. No, I don't think you want to do that. Damien, what are you doing? Providing a demonstration of my ability. Isn't that what you've been after with all these phone calls? In a controlled setting, yes, but... I suppose it's all right that you're here. a boy. Now, I'm gonna need you to skedaddle in just a moment, but first... I was wondering if you could answer some questions for me. I... I'd be happy to. Great. Damien, tell him to go back to his office and keep moving. You see, Dr. B hasn't exactly been forthcoming with information, which is sort of rude considering how big of a favor I'm doing her. Favor? And don't worry about it. But you're familiar with Dr. B's brother, Mark? Of course. <laughs> He's one of our most prized assets. Really? And why is that? What can he do? Damien, walk away. He can perform the ability of any other atypical when in close proximity. Uh, uh I'm sorry, he, he, wait, what? He's a mimic, a, a chameleon of sorts. He can share the power of anyone he's standing next to. Oh my God. So you're saying if he was in the same room as me, he can do what I do. Yes. <laughs> huh. Dr. B certainly failed to mention that. You sure it would work? Well, we've never heard of anyone with your ability, so I can't be positive, but Mark's power doesn't seem to have any limitations. You've really never met another atypical who could do what I do? No. You're very special, Damien. I am. I am very special. Don't get any ideas, Damien. Well, it's been a delight talking to you, Agent. I'm gonna need you to fuck off now. Very well. <laughs> you lied to me, Dr. B. That's not good. I didn't lie. I never told you what Mark could do. Not that. Though I think it could be argued that's a liable mission at the very least. No, I meant you told me finding someone like me could take a very long time, that you didn't know anyone, and all this time, your brother was like me. Mark is nothing like you. We need to have this discussion later. We're on the clock. Fine. Is this tier five? Good. Let me in. Okay. Thanks. Do you, uh, know where a guy named Mark Bright is being kept? There's a Mark in room 12. Thanks, man. Don't hurt him. Excuse me? I know you must be one of them, because I, I want to let you by, and I have no idea why, but Mark's a good guy. And he's been through a lot, so don't hurt him. Uh, okay. Got any idea what the hell that was about? No, none. Are you in? Are you in his room? Yep. Yeah, she looks so. What? How does he look? Tired. Should he look tired? Has he been asleep for years? Yes. Speaking of, uh, how do I wake him up? You've been very cagey about this part of the plan. He should be waking up any moment now. Okay, and how do you know that? He looks really combed out to me. Just trust me. <sighs> yeah, okay. Hey, what the hell was that? Sam, how did it go? Um, rushed, but I think it worked. Rushed? What do you mean? Well, I, I was so nervous that the moment I got there, I could tell my hold on 1810 was pretty shaky, so I found Mark, and we went to the lake, and we got in, and I told him that there would be someone waiting for him who was going to bring him to you and me, and, and then I jumped back. But I, I think I had a hold on him. I, I really do. I, I could feel his hand. Damien, are you still there? Yep, I'm here. No change on these little machines yet. Shit. Wait a second, we got a live one here. Mark? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hey, buddy. Welcome back to the land of the living. Who are you? I'm your knight in shining armor, pal. Come on, let's get you unhooked. 
Damien, unplug those machines before you draw attention to yourself. Righto. What? Nothing. Come on. Out of bed. Um. Having some trouble? Here. Can you stand? Ah, uh, not really. Uh, grab that crutch over there. Here you go. Let me get your other arm. Uh, uh, where are we going? Out. The great outdoors. Back into the world. Okay, but who are you? All right, let's just focus on getting you out of here, okay? Explain everything when we get back to the van. Don't want the AM listening in, or anyone for that matter. Speaking of... What happened? Where did they go? Um, D- Damien must have taken out the earpiece. Why would he do that? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, Dr. Bright? Uh, Joan? Did something happen while I was gone? Damien found out what Mark can do. He didn't already know? No, of course not. It's far too much of a temptation for him. Having someone who could absorb his power, exercise it with him? Oh, God. Okay, okay, it's going to be fine, okay? We've still got the transmitter in the van, so once they're back in the car, we'll be able to track them and hear them again. Uh, We won't be able to talk to them, though. It's good enough. Get it set up. Come on, it's been ten minutes. Where are they? Do you think they got caught? Yeah, all right, in you go. God, this it's good. You can you can lie down back here and make it nice and cozy for you. Yeah, thanks. Sorry that my legs don't really work. Ah, no problem. To be expected, really. You were laid up for quite a while. Now let's get out of here, huh? Tell me what the hell is going on. A thank you wouldn't be too hard, would it? You're right. Thank you. Now, who the fuck are you? Damien. And are you a friend or foe, Damien? Friend. Definitely. Yeah, well, in that case, I'm Mark. Mark Bryant. Bryant? I would shake your hand, but I've... Already lost feeling in my arms. Wait, did you say Mark Bryant? Yeah, what's it to you? Dr. Bright, what? what's going yeah, on? You and I have someone in common, I think. Your sister, Dr. Um, uh, Joan. What? You you know Joni? <laughs> uh, Joni? <laughs> Bet she hates that. No, she doesn't, actually. Wait, did my sister send you? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a patient of Dr. B's. She told me about you, though. About how you're being experimented on. I thought it just sounded awful, so I decided to take matters in my own hands. Help a fellow atypical out. You little shit. You're an atypical. Can't you tell? Didn't your ability start, uh... Pinging, or... I, I don't know, how does that work? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a little too tired to give the old superpower a whirl. Give me a few days. But you can do it, right? Mimic other people's powers? I could. I don't know, it's been a long time. Wait, so you're a patient of my sister's and she doesn't know you're here? Nope. You should have called her. She could have helped out. It never seemed like she had much interest in getting you out. Oh. No, Mark, that's not true. You have to know that's not true. Sam, didn't you tell him I was getting him out? Yes, I did. Right before we left, I said I said that me and you were going to be wait- waiting for him, but, but I, I called you. Wait, what about a, a Dr. Bright? Do you know a Dr. Bright? It's a code name, I assume. Uh, sorry, man, the, the only Dr. B I know is your sis. Uh, but why? Do you know that name? I, I mean... Why did that name pop in your head? Uh, Doctor the AM, maybe? They're assigned to us when we enter the AM. All the agents and doctors use false names. It's a protective measure. No, it's... Why didn't you tell me you've been using (sighs) a fake name? That is so fuzzy. It wasn't relevant. I can't remember. If you had just told Mark that you were working with me in the first place, this never would have... It wasn't relevant! God, he was right! You and your secrets! But there was someone who told me that name. What's that supposed to mean? There were 
gonna help. That's why he never talked about you as an adult. After you finished grad school, you drifted away. You kept things from him. He knew that you were keeping something from him. And now I have been keeping things from him, things about you. I, I didn't mean to, but it, it got too late and I didn't know how to make it better. If, if I could just go back in time and... Oh, my God. Sam! Mark? Whoa, careful, Amanda. Don't go rolling around. I can't be good for you. Sam! Sam told me that Dr. Bright was helping me get out. Sam? Who's he? Wait, you don't know Sam? She was with me any other time. Other time? What the hell are you talking about? Wait, why don't you know Sam? She was with me these past few months. Or... At least I think it was months. Yeah, you've been in a coma for two years. Yes, I know. Thank you. But I was in 1810 the whole time. Time travel experiment gone wrong. Damn. And there was a girl there with you? At the end. I... She said she was real. I thought she was real. I am. I am real. But you don't know her? Sorry, friend. Don't know any girl named Sam. Guess I really did make her up, didn't I? I don't know. No. God. Mm. Years without a body, without pain. <laughs> Being back. Ugh. I was in a coma for two years, you said? As far as I know. Shit. Yeah, no kidding. She felt so real. Sorry, man. And once you recover, find a nice girl. A real one. No, we need to find her. Good. That's good, Mark. Don't trust him. She made it better. Just when I thought I was going to lose my mind, she made it better. Or did I just lose my mind after all? Hallucinate an amazing woman that was going to save me? Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. No, oh, Mark. I am real. I, I, I did save you. Let's just get you better, huh? Get that power of yours up and working again. What about my sister? What about her? I should tell her I'm out. Yes, you should. Uh, you think that's such a good idea? She might turn you back in. No, she would. Would she? God, I haven't talked to her in so long. I don't even know where she lives. Well, not that far from here, which is why we need to get the hell out of Dodge. You don't really think she would put me back in. Look, between you and me, I think your sister can be a very cold and calculating bitch sometimes. Speaking of, huh. Oh my god, I can't believe I've been this stupid. What? Hold on a sec, buddy. Yep, thought so. Nice try, Dr. B. What is it? A tracking device. Thought she might pull something like that. Your sister is a very paranoid woman. She was always very protective of her secrets. No. No, Mark. You know, I bet she's been relaying our location back to the AM this entire freaking time. This sure is a fancy piece of tech. What is this? Transmitter? Doc. Listening in, are we? I'll take care of this. No. No, this is not happening. No, 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 no. Check the feed. Do you have their location still? No, 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 it's gone. I am going to kill Damien. He's gone. He's gone. I lost him. No. No, 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 no. No, I refuse to believe that this is how it turns out. There must be something else. We, we can get in the car right now, follow their footsteps, chase them down, explain everything. Sam? How could I do this? If I'd just been honest, he thinks I'm not real. How could he think that I'm not real? I'm real, right? I'm here. I'm, I'm real. I'm yes, real. yes. Sam, you're real. You're here with me. Mark Mark is confused and sick, and we will get him back, and you will both be here in this time together. But I need you to take some deep breaths for me right now. We need to focus. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I knew it. I knew using my ability would make things bad. It always makes things bad. He has to know that I'm real, that he didn't make me up, that I exist. Sam? Sam? Hi, everyone. This is Lauren Shippen, the creator and writer of The Bright Sessions, as well as the voice of Sam. 
The episode you just heard is the finale of season two, written by me and produced by the brilliant Misha Stanton. Myself, Misha, and the entire cast worked hard to make season two bigger and better, and we hope you enjoyed it. We're now going to take a much needed break, but we will be back for season three in the fall. In the meantime, stay subscribed over the summer as there may be a thing or two that pops up in the interim. I want to give a huge thanks to my incredible cast of actors. In this episode, you heard Julia Morizawa as Dr. Bright, me as Sam, Charlie Ian as Damien, Ian McEwen as Agent Green, and for the first time, Andrew Nowak as Mark. You also heard Brad Wilcox and Ren Beeler as our guards. I also want to thank Brigham Snow, who voices Caleb, Anna Laurie, who voices Chloe and does our incredibly beautiful graphic design, and Alex Gallner, who voices Adam. And a special thanks goes to Elizabeth Laird, who not only voiced Sarah, but also provided indispensable psychological advice. Making this podcast would not have been possible without the support from you, our listener. I want to say thank you so much for the tweeting and the iTunes reviewing, the Reddit wiki, and the incredible fan art and listener theories you all have been sharing across the internet. Thank you to everyone who has reached out to say a nice thing about this podcast. I read everyone and it makes my day every time. I am especially grateful for those of you who have supported us on Patreon. I am stunned by the generosity of all of you, and I cannot tell you how much your contributions help us. You can see just some of those names on our website, thebrightsessions.com, so make sure to go check that out. If you'd like to see your name up there or just help us make more of The Bright Sessions, it is never too late to contribute to our Patreon. If you pledge in the next few months, you won't even be charged until we come out with Season 3. But seeing that number go up is definitely going to motivate me even more to get new episodes out to you even faster. You guys, as the kids say, give me life. So thank you all so much for listening and sharing and being generally enthusiastic about this project. I am forever grateful. Make sure to find us on social media over the summer. Come find me on Tumblr if you need more podcast recommendations to fill the empty spot in these next few months. But rest assured, we will be back better and stranger than ever. So in the meantime, as always, thanks for listening and stay strange. <laughs>